Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Sunday, December 26th. Bagel Sunday. Now, last week, I missed it because of getting my ass kicked by that COVID booster. Could have missed it today because they'd have been closed or because I couldn't get out of bed because I couldn't walk. None of that is the case. They are open and I can walk. Albeit slowly and stiffly and very guarded. But the whole back issue sucked the day that I posted the video, the day that it happened. And it was excruciating. But I used my TENS unit and a heating pad that you have n nuke a few times that day, did a bunch of stretches, and basically just took it easy. And that helped a lot so that by the time I got up the next morning, I could already feel that it was different and not nearly as, as like awful as it could have been or as it was on the first day. And then it's just progressively gotten a little bit more loose. But yesterday, Christmas Day, I did the same thing. I did the TENS unit a couple of times with the heating pad, did the stretches and everything, still walking around like I'm trying to carry a cherry in my butt cheeks, you know, very guarded. And it's, again, I can still feel it. I still definitely need to go to the chiropractor first thing when she's open, which I think is tomorrow. But otherwise, yeah, much better. And I'm happy about that. So I'm on my way to get bagels. It's 62 and sunny. Yesterday it was sunny and in, in the 70s. <laughs> Hell yeah, Christmas in Virginia Beach. Just the way I like it. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy today. I took my vehicle in for its maintenance and realized that there is a screw in the tire. I'm going to have to deal with that. That's something that has to be done probably today because I'm not going to be driving this thing with a freaking screw in the tire. So yeah, I'm going to go get my bagels and then I'll show you all the fun things that I got for Christmas. Okay. Bagels have been had. Delicious. Now I'm just going to show you some of the loot that I got for Christmas. I've got this Uvanzi power grip. It's another one of those grips. And as you can see, I have several of these types of grips. This was the last Yulanzi grip, and look at how much bigger it is. If you can see that, I don't know, because it's against me and I'm wearing all black as usual, but this thing is only like maybe a 5,000 or 6,000 milliamp. This is a 10,000 milliamp. So I got that, I put one of the ZDO tripod feet thingies on it, and then I actually took my Yulanzi, uh, it's a it's a ball head, but it's like a reverse ball head, so it's almost like it's upside down. And I put that on here and charged it up because it was dead as a box of rocks, and it is all ready to go. It makes using it with this A7C setup with the handle and the you know if I have a microphone on top like I do now it makes it a lot bigger. So it won't necessarily be something I use all the time, but perhaps if I'm on the road and I need extra power because I'm going to be out, or if I'm out in the woods or something like that then this will be perfect for it. All right, then the other thing I got was this Treblet Thunderbolt housing and another Sabrent Rocket NVMe one terabyte internal SSD chip. Um, and then I had already put it all together yesterday. Just in this teeny weeny little housing and then here's the cable that it's on. So it's good to go. Another terabyte, wicked fast. I also got another Black Rapid cross shot strap, which is that black strap that has the little silicone part on the top. I have two of those now, plus I have a smaller orange one that are perfect. Yay, the Rode Wireless Go 2, which I'm pretty excited about especially because they've been putting out a lot of firmware updates to make it even better. So when I first decided that I wanted to get it, there were some things about it that were like, well, that's kind of a pain in the ass. Since then, they've all been upgraded or updated in the firmware, and it's not really an issue anymore. I got an MX Anywhere 3 mouse. These things are awesome. I have another one of them because they don't have to use the little dongle well on those M1 MacBook Airs. There are no ports that you can put that in. 
So the reason that this is important is because it can connect with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and you can connect up to three different devices at once. So I used to have it connected to my desktop, my work laptop, and my personal laptop so that, you know, I just had to have one mouse. I didn't have to bring a, you know, like a box full of mice to be able to use my computers and all that kind of stuff. Then I also got this Godox beauty dish, which hopefully if I actually start shooting human beings, uh, will come in very handy. That's pretty much um, most of what I got tech-wise. Obviously I bought myself the, the MacBook Air M1 and I bought my wife one for an early Christmas present back at the end of October. So we've been using those to great success and we love them. So those were the big presents and everything else is non-tech related. So I'm not gonna show you that, but pretty good haul. I have to say, uh, I guess the other tech related thing is that I did get the magnetic uh, Freewell step up rings. So they're on there now. And if you can see the, the, the quality of the haze that's around the light, I do have the mist base on the filter right now. It's literally just the fitting that has the insert for the mist. What do they call it? The mist XVND base, obviously the fitting goes on there then you can either put the variable nd insert or the mist insert into this and then put the variable nd over it if you need to have a variable nd filter which i don't inside christmas has come and gone as you should know because it's the 26th so obviously i changed my lighting scheme purple and green being my two favorite colors so that's what i'm going to put it at for now i also got this magnificent little monkey Gilded monkey holding a thingamajigger up. I think that's amazing. I love it. So it immediately has its place up there. I don't know that I'm going to put the clock back. Nobody likes it anyways. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of played itself out. So I'll stick it somewhere so I can see the time. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to be putting guest stars up there. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully the chiropractor is open tomorrow and I will be able to go and get everything put back where it belongs so that I can start, you know, again, fixing it so that it stays where it's supposed to be and it doesn't clench up and I'm not in searing hot pain and unable to move. So that kind of put a little damper, uh, you know, at the beginning of this Christmas weekend, but fortunately it, it sort of played itself out over, over Friday and Thursday and then it was better Friday and Saturday and it just keeps getting better every day. Knock on wood. All right. That's pretty much it. It's just a quick video update to show you, you know, some cool stuff that I got for Christmas and the, let you know that my back is much better and it wasn't as awful as it could have been. I hope you all had a fantastic holiday weekend. If you celebrated or if you give a crap or not, if not, I hope you had a great weekend anyways. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.